the inner exodus will take you to the promised land. What do I mean by that? When you have the inner experience of the birth from above, the birth from the skull, which is the real virgin birth, and it is also the true resurrection, because you will find your body to be a tomb, and you will actually come out of this tomb, and you will become one with the wind. Also, you will discover your fiery self, and you will understand the upper room phenomena. And that is how you will know that when I speak of the Exodus, it is not something that takes place at the outside. It is something that takes place within. You see, many people read about Christ and they read about Moses. And they have been taking personification for persons. And they've been also taking allegory for history. For example, many people believe that Moses wrote the first five books of the Bible. If that is so, then Moses would have written his obituary. Okay? But when you read that Moses, no one knows where Moses' body is and where he has been buried. You see, when you get rid of your old self, your negative limiting, limited self, no one could ever find that old self where you bury it. You see, Moses means to be born or to be taken out of the water. And it is you who was in the basket in your mother's womb because most of the body is water. So you are surrounded by water. And you have to take an exodus to have this human experience. You have to cross over. And remember, your mother Red Sea had to stop. Yeah. You see, when a woman gets pregnant, she no longer have her monthly cycle or her, her period. It stops. And at the time of birth, a mother water bag would always bust and she will flow again after that. You see, when you really understand the phallic in the Bible and you understand the Bible is a book of mind science and you understand it esoterically and you understand it metaphysically and you also understand it psychologically, you would realize that everything starts in the mind and no book could be written. That was a first thought or first an idea or first imagine. That is why you would know that none of the exodus that you're reading about in the Bible would have taken place on the outside. Everything takes place on the inside. You see, what they did, they brainwashed you to make you believe that you are human trying to be spiritual. But in truth and in fact, you are actually a spirit and you are having a human experience. That is why when you reach the place of your chronicles, and the reason why I'm mentioning this is because with my Bible, I end with the book of Chronicles in the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, in my Bible, which is the 66 books of magic, the Overcomer's Bible, I start the New Testament with John, because John represents love. You have to start with self-love. You see, I would definitely encourage you to get the 66 books of magic, the Overcomer's Bible. And in that Bible, Jesus has been omitted. And there's a blank space for you to write your name, which is I am. For that is the name of all of humanity. Before you can say I am poor, I am rich, I am sick, I am strong, whatever. You have to use the name of God, which is I am. That's the name of God from generation to generation. And remember, you could never say I am for anyone else. Because you could never say I am and not refer it to yourself. Okay, so even if a man in China say I am and he say Wang Chong Lang, he doesn't make any difference. Okay, so never desecrate the name of God, which is the name of I am. So never speak negatively about yourself or think negatively about yourself. Always think optimistically and always think optimistically and learn that the Bible addresses the human psyche. It's all about the mind. You have to learn to control your mind. That's why you're told to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So my brother and my sister, when you really learn the true exodus, that it is within and everything is taking place within and everything in the Bible is within, all the speaking is done within, you'll understand the power of self-talk and everyone engage in self-talk, in attacking. And that is what is producing their results. But many people do not really recognize it because they more believe in what their pastors 
are telling them and they believe in the things that they learn from their parents growing up. But the thing is, from the time of your birth to the age of seven or eight, your subconscious mind is wide open for programming. And whatever you have been programmed to believe, that is what you would live by. That is why you are told to change them by child in the way that it should go, that in the future they would not depart. Yes, most people get that wrong. And so they program the children to be religious and superstitious and to be limiting, limited. But if you would program them otherwise to know how powerful they are and to know that the redeeming and saving power is within themselves. If you would teach them to know that God is within themselves and the kingdom of God is within them, they will come to discover that God in man is definitely man's awareness of being in other words man's imagination and they will learn to use their imagination to create their life whichever way they want it to be do you know that the school was forced imagine do you know that these so-called churches they, 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 these buildings and you know god does not dwell in, in in temples made of hands but these temples these so-called temples are made of hands they were forced a thought they were forced an idea they were forced imagine so every religion has been predated by your imagination because your imagination was before every religion. Your, 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 your imagination was before every false educational system. You see, the word education comes from the Latin word educo, which means to jot out from. So true education is, is being found within you. It must be found within you through your experiences and the things that you experience in life will help to educate you. But they give you a false education to prepare you for the workplace. So when you start to understand these things, then you understand that the bench was first imagined, the, the pencil, the, the, the book, the pen, the, the bench, the desk, all of these things. Okay, then you will, know, you will realize that the, the educational system was, is the same thing too. So they are crucifying your imagination. So when, when you read in the Bible that Christ, which is speaking of your higher self, okay, your God self, your imagination, has been crucified between two thieves. There are two thieves on this planet. One is promising you a good life while you are here if you will only give him your energy and give him that X. But you do not realize it that, it that it is your energy he's sucking. He's like a vampire, okay, sucking your blood. So when you partake in such a thing that the preachers will tell you, oh, God, give you leaders. Well, these are the same men who legalize alcohol and then the preacher turn around and preach against alcohol these are the same people who legalize homosexuality. <laughs> and then the preachers turn around and preach against <laughs> homosexuality. It's so contradicting. Eh? You see, when you wake up and you get out of stupidity and religious mentality, they will get angry. So when you realize that, you would know that that's a thief, okay? And he wants to steal your energy. So he's promising you a good life here if you give him his energy. Then the next one. And both of them are dressed up in jacket and tie. Eh? The next one is promising your good life. When you leave here, if you would also give him your energy and you come under his enchantment and allow him to cast his spells upon you to give you a certain uh, mentality, which is basically a religious and superstitious mentality, a, 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 a mentality of stupidity, where you're being delusional and looking for a man to come from the sky. And... To be honest with you, if after 2020 to 2022, with the big scamdemic, if they haven't done anything to wake you up, well, you are actually in a coma. But if you are listening to me, and what I'm saying, it makes sense to you and it really resonates with you. I want to say to you, there's more wisdom and knowledge where this wisdom and knowledge is coming from. I'm saying to you that you're in the right place. Continue to listen and continue to be open-minded. The real exodus takes place within you. Your journey can start now. Peace.